All right, what's good, everybody? My name is your boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. Woo! A move to the FBS is is definitely a serious talk now. Um, and I kind of knew that this day would come to where it would potentially happen. You know, so we got Jackson State a potential move to the to the Big Ten and. Let me say this. Uh, well, let me start off by saying this. I've seen a lot of more. I've seen more negative feedback than I thought I'd see, especially from uh, you know, cause I watched Scotty's live uh, live last night, and I was listening, paying attention, and man, there's a lot. There's a lot more people that I thought that would see no way that this would happen, and. You know, they would say, oh, well, they got to beat the top teams in the FCS first before they can think about that move. Or they got to they gotta beat South Carolina State first. And look, I could say a few reasons as to why Jackson State lost that game. But it's not about, it's not about South Carolina State right now. But I think this would, I think this is a good goal to reach. I think... I think there are a lot of steps to take for that move to happen, but I can definitely see plenty of ways to where Jackson State could potentially make that move, especially if they're backed. Like, I know, like, the amount of love that Jackson State got last year, I don't see no reason why they would not be backed by a lot of people. Like, look, we already seen what Diddy donate, you know, a donate. Uh, millions of dollars. We already seen Ja Rule about to hell out Jackson State. The amount of attention that they got even before the Celebration Bowl, like I'm sure there are going to be plenty of people that's going that's going to be willing to help Jackson State. But I think you know one of the main reasons why you know why I think it will be difficult is that that like. There has to be the alumni. Like, the alumni is going to have to contribute too. You know, because we hear, like, a lot of a lot of alumni who who graduated from their Power 5 school or their PWI, you will hear about them donating big money every single year. And, look, you got to think, like, they didn't just get that off of, you know, off of just company sponsors. They got that from like, like like the amount of money that the teams are getting, they're getting that from alumni donating thousands and thousands of dollars every single year. So if if the alumni of Jackson State are willing to give money every single year for years to come, that move could potentially happen. Like and especially if the alumni could see the vision of where Jackson State is going. Because look, Coach Prime and the football team ain't gonna get there by themselves. They're not gonna get there by themselves. So, and look, and I know that they don't have as big of a budget as, as the rest of the teams in their own state, but they have a better, like look, they got the number one player in the country. Old Miss can't say that. Mississippi State can't like the team like the team in his own state can't even say that they got the number one player in the country. And they got they got multiple four stars. They came they went there to play at Jackson State. It ain't too many coaches in this country that can go to Jackson State and pull off what Coach Prime was able to do. And I heard something that Scotty made a lot of sense what he said. He said if Coach Prime was able to get Jackson, he was able to get Travis Hunter, Kevin Coleman, Cordarius Davis, if he was able to get all these four star and three star recruits to come play at Jackson State with the little bit of money that he has to work with, imagine what he can do with with big money with her big money budget like imagine what he's able to do and i've seen a lot of people saying that you know lane kiffin could out coach coach prime 
or all oh, these other coaches can out coach. It ain't about Coach Prime out coaching the other coach. You know why? Because you got assistant coaches for that. The the head coach ain't ain't there to out coach nobody all the time. That's what you got assistant coaches for. It's a team effort. It's a team thing. Like, I don't like look, and we're gonna be honest, man. Like, Nick Saban, look, Nick Saban built his school to where to what it is now. But if you don't think that Coach Prime ain't got ain't got the skill set to match what Nick Saban got. If you don't think he has the wittiness the, to match what Nick Saban, Lane Kiffin, and all these other coaches, if you don't think he has that, if you don't think he has enough skill in his toolbox to match what these other coaches have, he's smoking something. And for the amount of times that coach that that Jackson State has been in the mix with all of these other FBF teams to snatch up the these four stars and five star recruits. Like look, Peter Woods has Jackson State in his top four. A five star recruit who ain't you know who who I'm pretty sure is um is about to make his move or he's about to uh, commit soon. Peter Woods, who's a five star, has Jackson State in his top four. So that's to tell you something about what Jackson State is doing. You know what I'm saying? So look, I I don't have really a whole lot to say about this because a lot was said last night, you know, on uh on All Script Live, man. But I'm gonna say this. Now and and somebody asked a real good question, you know, about are people gonna be wanting to pay hundreds of dollars to go to to go to home games and like I said before or like I said um I think ticket prices are too low now especially with the amount of of entertainment that you'll get during a football game especially with the HBCU bands and the entertainment they provide with with the halftime show and then playing during the game and with the fifth quarter like I think, like I think, ticket prices should be raised up just a little bit, just for support. And I've seen the amount of backlash that you know some teams were getting because people were paying to go to, were going to uh, to pay for spring games. And I'm like, yo, like if you really support the school, like if you really want your school to have nice things, you would have to donate, like. That's like, look, that's how these Power Five schools are thriving so well. It's because the alumni are giving back hundreds and thousands of dollars every single year. And and it ain't just five or six or 10, 15 alumni. It's hundreds of alumni paying hundreds and thousands of dollars. They're giving back to their school because they want their school to have nice things. And if Jackson State wants nice things, the alumni is going to ha have to get back. Look, I started giving back to my alma mater not too long ago, you know, because I wanted my school to have nice things. Because we was asking for, you know, a clubhouse for years. For years, we've been uh, crying and praying for him. A clubhouse, but we ended up getting a new field. But hey, that's good too. You know what I'm saying? So, in order for your school to need to want nice things, the alumni is gonna have to get back. You know what I'm saying? And that you know, and that's that's also where the budget comes from as well. But look, Jackson State only had a little over two million to work with. Last year, you know, ho you know, hopefully, you know, they will get more as time rolls along. But that's the only way this move would happen is is if the support is behind them, one hundred percent. And 
everybody else is gonna have to see that vision too. Like if y'all like if y'all see that vision, the money gotta be there. Look, look, it's all about the money at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So it look, <laughs> it ain't a lot to talk about. It's the money. You know, and you know, and look, and a lot of people are so focused on what Jackson State don't have instead of focused on what they could potentially get. And what and like what are you striving for? Like, people are so worried about what Jackson State don't have and oh it's it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, instead of what what you should strive to get. Like, it's right there. Look, the world is in the palm of your hands, man. And anything is possible. I've seen Appalachian State win title after title after title, and now they play in the FBS. And so yo, somebody made a hell of a point about Boise State and how Boise State started off as a junior college. Whoever thought that years later they would be have put in a situation that they would be playing against Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl. Like, no, like, I'm pretty sure nobody ever thought of that. You know what I'm saying? But I think that move can happen. And look, and all it takes is for everybody to be behind them. You know what I'm saying? Like, the money got to be there and, and the support got to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody just has to support and, and, and if people are willing to do that, the sky is the limit for Jackson State. The sky is the limit. 